Hi guys, welcome back to another pregnancy update. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about weeks. Oh gosh, I forgot. 10, nine or 10 through weeks. 14 or up until week 14 so through week 13 because today I am officially 14 weeks um, according to the app I am now officially in the second trimester that's so weird because I don't know like I've been waiting for a second trimester I don't know why but I don't know anyways um a couple things i do want to kind of back step for a second because there were a couple things i left out in my previous two videos about um just pregnancy stuff i made notes this time that i'm going to review to make sure that um i don't miss anything well how about i just start from what's been happening current <laughs> right now currently today like i'm feeling pretty good i've been feeling pretty good ever since my nausea symptoms went away they have not returned which i'm so grateful for so grateful for <laughs> um from weeks nine through 13 because again this is the beginning of week 14 so for weeks 9 through 13 i have not had any nausea or queasiness um the only time that i will feel like any type of unsettling in my stomach is apparently when i eat like pineapples or oranges so i think it's like citrusy stuff because now i can eat mangoes on an empty stomach and be fine um granny smith apples that's another like odd food that i've introduced to myself since being pregnant i never eat granny smith apples i like apples but granny smith apples they're just not in my home but now that's like the only apple that i buy funny thing my husband eats them now too and actually requested them even though he never eats granny smith apples either but we have like a huge stack of granny smith apples <laughs> in the kitchen um so i've been eating more fruit um um i still haven't been eating like a whole lot of salads because we went out to eat maybe like a week ago yeah probably a week or two ago and i had a salad with some mashed potatoes and I noticed like eating the salad, I still got that unsettling feeling. So I don't know, still gonna try, you know, throughout the duration of the pregnancy to incorporate salads because I really do like eating salads. But appetite has definitely been so much better. Like um, food aversions, I don't really have them. There are certain things that I just prefer to eat, but as far as thinking like, but as far as being super limited on what I can eat and what seems um, appealing, I feel like that has kind of gone away. I kind of feel like a normal human, like, like if I didn't know I was pregnant and like, if I didn't know that I would be feeling like my normal self. Um, so that's been great. I've had so much more energy. Um, and this has been up until like, once that that sickness and stuff went away like i've been feeling like a whole new woman like i just been feeling my, feeling like myself um i still go to bed pretty early um around like eight o'clock on a good day there are some days where i just stay up late because i'm like editing a video or you know certain things but i do try to go to bed around eight because then it gives me like 10 hours of sleep and that's when i feel the most rested i haven't started about working out yet just because I've gotten out of the groove of it and it's been it's been a struggle to get back in the groove but it is my goal to start back working out especially now that I actually feel good and I feel up for it so that is something that I plan to do is to start working out regularly even if it's not as much as I was before but I just know being active and stuff like I still walk I still like I'm not sitting down all day every day but um as far as like getting back into the gym and stuff like that that's a goal of mine especially now that i have more energy what else let me get into the specific things um oh i still have like a huge sweet tooth like it's like sometimes it's just like oh my goodness i want some candy i was craving a specific candy some mike and ike's the pink box and i was not able to find them i went to like three different stores and I did not find them, so I bought two boxes of two different, two different color boxes, hoping I could find the flavors I want. It was okay, but it just wasn't fulfilling that desire. I haven't had that candy in years, like literally years. But 
Um, I've been trying to maintain my sweet tooth just because I know sugar is so terrible for you. Um, I still love ice cream, but again, you know, trying to like limit myself to like once or twice a week to indulge. Another thing I noticed, I've been having issues with my skin and it's really frustrating because, um, so maybe like three years ago, probably been like three years now, um, I had this same issue with my skin, although it was like so much worse, like it was just horrible. And I'll move closer to the camera so you can kind of see what I'm talking about now. I don't know if it's the prenatals that are, you know, doing something, but I haven't had this issue in years and it's just really annoying and I'm trying to figure out what's going on with it. Like if there's another product that I can use. So I'm kind of in the process of trying to figure out how I can manage this so that it does not get as terrible as it was um, when it flared up at one time. According to like my doctor, it was either some kind of contact dermatitis or rosacea and it went away after some time. Um, again, this was like years ago. It went away, so this is like my first time having it, it having to deal with it now, you know, since it went away. There are like little bumps like all in there oh another eye booger okay so if you see in my eyelid there are like little bumps up there and like in the crease um and then like when i wash my face it's like around here and like around this area but more specifically like it's under my nose but the main area is like on my forehead and like here. And so like, I do have a makeup now, but I feel like the makeup makes it look worse, honestly, <laughs> than when I don't have a makeup. And so that's what I'm dealing with now. Um, I don't know if I need to switch prenatals or what, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. Well, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I'm able to eat way more. Um, I don't have to worry about like making myself feel sick. I can eat till I'm full and I feel full. Um, I have not gained any weight at the beginning of my pregnancy. Like those first few, probably the first six, seven weeks, my appetite was just really, really terrible and I lost like 10 pounds. Um, a lot of that weight was from my exercise regimen, like muscle weight. And so I kind of like lost all of my gains <laughs> from working out regularly and eating well. And so like I'm kind of back to my before I started working out weight. And so I haven't gained any of it back yet. Um, but again, like I'm just at the beginning of my second trimester. So this is apparently when you start getting weight. So we'll see how that goes. Back to a few things that I left out of my previous video. When I had my first um, appointment, they asked me, or my first two appointments, they asked me that I want a flu shot because, you know, they obviously want to keep you healthy so that the baby's healthy. Um, I decline. I never get flu shots. Um, this is before pregnancy and everything. I'm just not a fan. Like, I don't want any additional shots that I don't need, and I haven't had the flu my whole adult life. So, I declined the flu shot. The second thing was when I was experiencing nausea, um, the doctor offered me some nausea medication um, to help. Um, so I got the samples from her. I did not take it. I didn't know how, if it was gonna make it worse, if it was gonna have other side effects to it. Um, so I, I got them, but, and I'll show you what they are. They are Bongesta, so, this is the brand that um, I got from them. So I never took them. Um, I just stuck it out like a G because I don't like medicine. I'm not a fan of it. If I don't have to take it, I'll just, you know, manage. Also right now, I sleep. I'm able to sleep way better. Um, I still sleep with like a pillow between my legs. It's just more comfortable. I know like I'm not big or anything, but it's just a comfortable way. Like I just need to like hug something. Like just be like squished or like fluffy on every single side. Depending on how much water I've drank and how late I drank the water, I wake up between maybe like one to three or four times a night to go pee. Um, on a good night, I can sleep in 
Well, it's probably not a good night because it probably means I didn't drink enough water. But if I didn't drink enough, if I didn't drink a whole lot of water super late, then I can maybe wake up like once or twice to go use the bathroom. But aside from that, I'm able to sleep. Um, it does take me more time to fall back asleep sometimes. Like I know sometimes I'll wake up, use the bathroom, and then be laying there bored. Like, all right. <laughs> It's so weird. I think maybe because I'm more rested and so I'm not just like drained to where I have to like just fall back asleep. So I believe I've covered everything for this period of my pregnancy update. Um, I'll show you guys a bump shot. Like when I wake up in the morning, I look like I just need to do some crunches. <laughs> kind of like before, um, aside from like my abs aren't as defined, but Aside from that, like after I eat, I look like huge. It's so weird. Like after I eat, I just look super big. Yeah, so that's all we have for this pregnancy update. Um, thank you guys for watching. And if there's anything that I didn't cover that I'm not talking about, I believe I'm, I believe I'm covering everything. Um, I've been trying to take better notes to make sure that I don't miss anything from my videos. But if there's anything specifically that I'm not touching on, let me know and I'll be sure to include that in my next update. Um, so thank you guys for watching and let's look at the bump.